Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, I hope you guys are doing good today. So for all your tea sipping needs, don't forget to go on to lovelytea.net or amazon.com forward slash shops forward slash lovely tea. Thank you guys so much for the support and stay tuned for the video. So as you guys all know, it's been a few days since I've come on camera. I've been under the weather, but happy Martin Luther King Day to everybody. Um, I have a store that a lot of people have been wanting me to cover. I've been getting a lot of emails and DMs about this story. It went viral and unfortunately, it's taking place in Atlanta, the same city that Martin Luther King is from. That's where the civil rights movement took place. I mean, it was a lot of stuff that went down in Atlanta, but unfortunately today, all social media is mainly talking about is this alleged rape that happened at Opera Nightclub. So if you guys are not aware, there's a viral video. It started on Facebook and it's gone all over social media. There's a young woman named Jasmine and basically she was on Facebook Live. She was at a concert at Opera Nightclub and this is one of the biggest clubs down there in Atlanta. I've been to this club a few times. It's a really nice club and so everybody's there. They're having a good time. Folks are turning up. And so she's been live streaming this whole time she's in the club. She's showing herself in the bathroom, in the mirror, talking, hanging out. Um, I believe she might've been on stage dancing at one point, but I'm not sure. But basically in one of the videos, you see her drinking a drink that somebody bought her. And people are saying they can see E or some type of, you know, drug in the drink. But she drinks the drink and you know, she even looks at it like, dang, what's up with this drink? I don't know, she tasted something chalky. You can see her, you know, you know, you can see her touching her tongue like, oh, what is this? And so then the next minute we see her dancing with some man and they're, you know, dancing, having a good old time. And then you start to see her body just kind of change and she starts to get, you know, kind of woozy and she just doesn't seem like she's all there. And then you see the guy seemingly penetrate her and she's screaming, help me, help me. But it's like she's screaming the words, but she really can't fight him off of her. So it clearly looks like she was drugged. This video is really disturbing. I've watched the video. If you're easily triggered, you may not want to watch the video. But like I said, the video's all over social media. I'm not going to include a rape video in my video. I'm not going to do that. So this has caused a lot of controversy. A lot of folks are talking about this. So it looks like the heavy.com ended up contacting the Atlanta Police Department. It was them and a few other other sites to let them know that this video was viral, something needed to be done. So the Atlanta Police Department ended up responding back to Heavy. I want you guys to go ahead and check this out. So they're saying the video of the incident first appeared on the victim's Facebook page on the night in question and has since spread across social media and has since spread across YouTube and Twitter. The Atlanta Police Department told Heavy.com in a statement, Early Sunday morning, Atlanta PD began receiving calls about a Facebook Live video that appears to show a woman being sexually assaulted in a local nightclub. Our special victims unit had made contact with the victim and an investigation into the matter has been opened. The investigation continues. So a lot of people did some investigating and they were able to find the guy's face that's in the video. And they allegedly found his Instagram page so the victim, um, Jasmine, she took the Facebook yesterday and she said, please, no call slash Texas, I'm still gathering myself. Then she goes on to say, I'm doing fine. Then she says, I just wanna be left alone. I will delete my account again. Just leave me alone. All right, so you guys just saw what she posted on Facebook. Now, as of 30 minutes ago, she just went live and she's explaining the situation. She's really soft-spoken. It looks like she's still going through a lot. I don't know if the guy that people fingered on social media is the same guy because she says one of the guys that she took pictures with is not the same guy, so it's kind of confusing. But this is what she had to say when she went live earlier today. Go ahead and check this out. Hey, y'all. Um... I just, I want to address the situation, like, um, it's not going to be lengthy, it's going to be very short, um, first, I'm not going to address any negativity, no speculations, I'm not, all the opinions, none of that, um, thanks to everybody, uh, every text, every message. I haven't read it or opened it. I've only responded to a few. But, um, J-Bug 
help me. Okay. That's first. Um, second, the guy that I took the picture with earlier in the day is not the same guy in the video. Um, third, uh, I did not and I could not delete the videos due to the investigation that's going on. It would have slowed the process down or stopped it. So, um, for All right, so you guys just heard what Jasmine had to say. So I'm going to say this. First and foremost, I'm going to let the police do their job. Now that the police have been made aware of this viral video, they are investigating, and she seems to be cooperating. So I'm not going to sit there and throw anybody's name out there or say this person did it or that person did it. I'm going to let the police do their job, okay? But one thing I will say about this video, a lot of things really troubled me. When you see the rape video, basically there's other people around her. There's other people filming. There's other people watching. It's not like it's just her and this man in some dark room. There's tons of other people in the club and not one of those people stepped up. Another thing that disturbs me, like I've always said on this channel, I don't understand how females will get dressed together, do their hair and makeup, be in the mirror, taking selfies and everything else. But then somehow, once they get to the club, they're all going their separate ways or they're sitting there watching their friend be attacked, be assaulted, be jumped. What is up with the female code nowadays? Where were her friends? Like when me and my friends go clubbing, we're all together, dancing, having a good time. I don't allow my friends to just be out of my sight. Now, if they're dancing with the guy and they're having fun, cool. But I have eye contact with them. They're in my visual. How is she by herself, you know what I'm saying, in this state? And none of her friends that she went to the club with are anywhere near her. From what I'm hearing, there's a longer video that's like an hour long. I believe it's posted on YouTube. And they're saying that one of her friends come up to her and they hold her head up while she's dancing with the guy. And, you know, everything appears to be just okay to the friend. Her friend wasn't aware of what was going on. So the whole situation just does not make sense to me. Another thing that's very problematic about this video is that there's another person on Facebook. I think they do interviews. But So it's now come out that Jasmine has a husband and her husband was on Facebook going off and he was saying things to me that's very odd for her husband to say. He was writing comments saying, you went live getting fucked, but you didn't go to the ER cut it out she plant that shit so her husband is even bashing her on social media and this man ended up calling her husband to interview him and you can hear them arguing in the background and so this is also going viral but on top of that her husband just dropped a facebook live video about five minutes ago where he's explaining his side so like i said this entire situation is crazy i'm just gonna let the police do their job Go ahead and check this out. Shit, that shit, you know what I'm saying? I was mad. I was upset when I was wrong for that. You know, it took, you know what I'm saying? It took me, you know what I'm saying? To have her back, you know how I put her back at all times. I do, you know, I was wrong or shit. I didn't, females in box, you know, I was talking to females, causing nonsense, you know, what I should have been doing. Out of anger, you know. Yeah, baby, bro, I'm good, big bro. I'm just, I'm just getting over. Getting over, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna drink it. I'm gonna drink my problems away. Chill. Left. Chill. I got her together because I know if, if I ain't talked to her, mistakes are made to be fixed. You got it. Yeah, you right, big bro. They is. Mistakes are made. I done made mistakes. I'm talking about put my hands on. I done did. I done made a lot of mistakes. I done did cheating. I done did that. You know, it's like stuff happens, you know what I'm saying? She all right. I'm going to heal. I'm going to get her together. I'm going to heal. I'm going to talk to her. You know what I'm saying? Like, I should have been down there with her. You know, we was going through our situation. You know what I'm saying? And I didn't want to go. 
I ain't want to go. Stay here, stay t stay home, you know. But I don't want nobody getting out here talking about, I want to close motherfuckers talking about, I raped her, I did this, I done that. No, I didn't. I ended up finding a dude that did it. You know what I'm saying? I, I did a little research, reached out to people, people reached out to me, and I ended up finding the guy that did it. We sent this picture to the to the uh, Atlanta Police Department, and they found him. You okay? You all right? Yeah, the shit, bro. We'll get that shit together. We're gonna get it together. This is why you have to be very, very mindful, especially women, when you go out. While you're ready to turn up and have a good old funky time and get drunk and, you know, do whatever, there are predators lurking. There are people watching your moves. Are you going back and forth to the bar? Are you leaving your drink and then coming back to your drink? People are watching women in the clubs, you know what I'm saying? So you have to be very, very mindful, especially when you're having these guys buy you drinks. Make sure that, you know, that drink is going from the bartender straight to your hand. Make sure that drink is not going to the guy's hand and then to your hand because some people are very quick you know what i'm saying with their hands they can slip something in your drink unbeknownst to you what happened to that woman to me from what i saw was definitely assault you know what i'm saying and i don't care how short her dress was i don't care if she didn't have on any drawers she did not give that man permission to penetrate her in the club and sadly this happens a lot more times than not okay so young women need to be very very aware of their surroundings the things that they're taking in the things that they're drinking because again there's a lot of predators lurking and they're ready to make an example out of you so don't give them any ammunition to pray upon you okay this entire situation is just really sad and i hope that this young girl gets justice i hope that whoever is involved whoever did this to her ends up getting criminally prosecuted and i hope she ends up finding some justice this entire situation is sickening and it should have never went on especially in the middle of a dance club with hundreds of people there watching this take place and not one person stepped up to help this woman so anyways y'all let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment let me know your thoughts on this entire disturbing situation concerning and Jasmine in this viral video. Let me know your thoughts. All right, deuces. <laughs> hey, you guys, it's your girl T, and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.